Hey there! Are you tired of doing these basic squats all the time and you're looking for new inspiration and motivation? Let me show you three exercises that you can do instead of these basic squats. Let's go! So the first one, I call it the squat folding routine. This offers many more benefits than the basic squats because you start folding your legs in all different positions. And as you might heard before, everything you don't use, you lose. So we start using our leg in those ranges and it will make your legs stronger, more resilient for everything that comes in everyday life. There are two options. Option number one, we help with the hands to not overdo it in the beginning. Option number two, without hands. Let me show you both. First, we squat all the way down as low as we can. Now from here, I wanna bring both knees towards the floor. We use the hands to shift our body weight forward. Knees touch the floor. And then you see now my feet are tucked. Now I want to lay my feet flat on the floor and now I bring all the weight back on top of my feet. So now I have this nice stretch in this position. It might hurt sometimes. If it hurts, do it more often. It's because you're not used to it, definitely not. And now from here, I place the hands, shift the weight forward again, tuck my feet again, make my way back into my low squat first, very important. If you cannot go with flat feet, you can elevate the heels, no problem. And from here, I stand all the way back up. And the second option, if you do it without the help of your hands, it's a bit more advanced, but we do the same. First, we squat all the way down. Now try to shift your upper body back to create this counterbalance to reach the floor. Then weight shifting forward, flat feet, sit down, feel a stretch, back forward. And now try to shift your weight back and stand all the way up. And this is a squat folding routine. You can do that for one minute non-stop and then you just slowly get used to it depending if you wanna do it with hands assistant or without. Important is always to do it slow and controlled. Feel how it goes for your legs and if it really hurts on the floor, use a soft surface. Will definitely help. So squat number two, we're gonna do a basic squat but with one leg rotated inwards. Why do we do that? Have a look at sports in general. Maybe you see people playing tennis, football, basketball, fighting. They have all kinds of weird angles in their legs, but they don't get injured. Why? Because they train those angles. And for me, a perfect example is people go to the gym full year, always in this perfect alignment, perfect position of the legs, but then they go skiing for one weekend and they get injured because once the leg goes out of alignment, your body is not used to it and it cracks. So if you start using it in training, and then it happens while skiing, for example. Our body will know, ah, okay, I also use those angles in training. I'm ready for it, nothing happens, nothing unusual. So let's try it. One foot stays. The other foot, I rotate it in as good as I can. And from here, I just squat down as low as I feel comfortable. You can use the hand in the beginning for support. If you can, bring the knee all the way down to the floor. And from here, stand back up. Only when you stand up, then return, change the other side. In, all the way down, knee to the floor if you can. Back up, step. In, down, up. If you want to create even more range, even more leverage, squat down and now try to shift the weight to the back foot, to the heel there. So this adds way more pressure on the knee, also here on this leg. Come back up. In, down, sit back, feel the pressure, come back to center, stand up, rotate back. Very important, don't overdo it. If it feels uncomfortable for your knee, this might be too much for you yet. So then just do that little bend of your legs. This is already enough pressure for your leg, back up. You can also go for a few reps, only one side and then slowly change and slowly get used to the pressure. And then once you feel more comfortable, then you can go for the full range. And now the exercise number three is actually not a new squat variation, but we can add some upper body work into our squats. How do we do that? By adding a handstand push into our squat. So have a look. I squat all the way down. 
Now from here I can just place my hands on the floor and I try to lift up my legs, land back into my squat, stand back up. Squat, push, squat, stand up. Like this I can combine leg work with upper body work. And in this handstand position you can play around. I give you two options. Option number one, squat down and try to clap your feet in the air here, clap. Then I stand back up, down, clap, back up. And then for example, if you can clap two times, that means you have more air time or you just clap very fast, <laughs> one of two options. But like this, you can improve also difficulty until you can clap four, five times. But I think then you can already hold the handstand for that long time. So down, clap, clap, stand up. The other option would be you try to make the legs straight, but keep the feet close to the floor. Then you really add tension in your core as well, in your shoulders, and you also work on your hamstring mobility. Looks like that. Down, push, back up. Always do it slow and controlled. That means not making too much noise when you land with the feet. So now you got three options that you can do instead of doing the basic squats all the time. It will give you new inputs into your practice. Maybe it will give you new motivation because it's something new, it's gonna be fun. And it will make your knees stronger in different new ranges. What is very beneficial for everyday life and sports in general. Did you like this idea? And are you looking for more leg exercises or full body workouts? Have a look at my training app. You have thousands of exercises, hundreds of workouts, full programs, educational videos, and the best, you have a seven day free trial. How to join? I will leave a comment with the link to the landing page. You can sign up there and you can start right away. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will keep uploading high quality content to help you to make your body your best friend. Let's go.